I love. It's as simple as that. It was quite apparent that I was an amazing lover at a young age. It was a trait passed on by my mother. I got so good at it, I began to lose myself in it. And my father, how I longed to please him. You'd think that me being an only child, I'd be a recipient of an ungodly amount of love. But alas. <laughs> Thank you. No matter how hard I tried, how much I begged, how thorough I followed instruction, I couldn't get an ounce of love out of him. But I moved on. I learned how to grow by myself. And now I am ready to love again. Do you love him? Get out. There's no need to be afraid. You didn't tell me this was part of the process. Times have changed. With father gone, God rest his soul. We must prepare for new management. But aren't you the eldest? Father had it in his will that uh, a dunce like me must marry before taking over his criminal empire. In the interim, Neil and I are to share leadership. Uh... Well? Sadly, it's not up to me. Mima has spoken. Father's opinions on our suitors have always been harsh. Well, he was fond of my Jessica. Well, that's because she was a bank teller and he knew that she'd get killed in one of our operations. I see. Well, what about you? How are you feeling? Doesn't matter. Father's love and approval take priority. Are you financially stable? Well, uh, I'm an assistant supervisor over at the Beat Mart. I love long walks on the beach. I hate sand. It's coarse. Nope. Do you think Cass incompetent? Oh, I, I, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Bodyguard Bob? What? Oh, whoa! No, 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 I can love! I can love! The shirt's kind of tacky. Indeed. Very important. <laughs> this sucks. Could be worse. At least Father came to accept your fondness of all genders. Nothing says acceptance like the whip scars across my back. Merely some tough love, of which father's takes priority. 
God rest his soul. How's the business going, at least? The Federal Reserve job won't exceptionally well. 53 million. What? That's more than father made in his last decade. Indeed. Hi, I'm here for the interview. Bodyguard Bob? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just give me a chance. Take a seat. It's as simple as that. Love is a precious thing that's often taken for granted. I, I know your family very well. Bodyguard Bob, Nima, father. Only the strongest bonds can work in a corporation like this. And I want to be the next one to contribute. Congratulations. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure I'm ready. What is the meaning of this? Nima is the bearer of father's approval. But, but what if I don't want any of this? Hey, father would have done the same. Father loved us unconditionally. It is our duty to reciprocate. Bodyguard Bob? Well? The moment you walked through that door, I knew there was something about you that my father would have loved. Very handsome and, most importantly, genuflecting. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to say no. And what's there to show for father's love? You know as well as I that he treated us like shit. Working with you, I'm happier than I've ever been. We've shown that together we, we work well together because we love each other. Truly love each other. It's, it's a father's job to love his kids, but for us, it's got to be earned. We do make a good team. You seem like a nice guy, but I'm afraid I'm just not ready. God damn it! Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know how much I worked for this? I studied your taste. I studied your father. And this is what I get? Fuck you. And fuck your decrepit grandma. He works at the bank on 8th Street, right? I shall schedule that one for Wednesday.
Such a... Oh, <laughs> Damn it. Did we, did we get the shotgun?